Okay, I'm going to try to explain the situation here with the last frame and the, the and the bug I'm I'm uh, sensing is happening with this last frame. Remember when I run this and we our tests fail, and then if I open up the the profiles we get right here, uh, we get all the way up to 11, but then we fail to do this last row. So here's here's the this is the reason why I wanted wanted to do this in a separate video. Uh, say we, remember, the client of the profiler is responsible to call new frame at the beginning of every, of every frame. And uh, after that, they can add as many entries as they want to. All right? But they, have, they must do that on the first frame. Then after that, they just add the same amount of entries every single frame. Well, what happens on the last frame? Say we call a new frame, but then we don't add these, right? Say we call a new frame and we say, well, let's shut down now, all right? The game's over, let's shut down. Well, then in theory, or in that case, we wouldn't have these entries. Okay, but what about in this case where we say, all right, new frame, let's add a bunch of entries, and then let's shut down. All right, well, now we're going to have these values like so. But in this case, the way we've written this, or written the profiler, we just say, hey, go up to the current frame index. All right? And this works as long as you don't add entries for that last frame. But if you do add entries for that last frame, well, now we got an issue because frame index, uh, really, we need to go up to frame index and include this last frame as well if you add these entries. All right? Does that... Does that make sense? So if you add an entry, I'm going to expect you to add all the entries. And then I'm going to also include this last frame. So I think the way we should do this is uh, const unsign, unsigned int num, num actual frames. Maybe we'll get... Uh, Okay, what are, what are we going to do? We're going to say, is cat, oh no, here comes another ternary. <laughs> is cat equal to, uh, is cat, not cat, sorry, is our our current category, I can't remember what we called it, our category index, there we go, is our category index equal to num used categories? All right. If it is, then we know we want to do frame index plus one. Else, we want to do frame index. Okay. I don't think the ternary is buying me anything here. I don't know why I try to do them. You know what I'm going to do instead? Let's get rid of the const here. I'm going to say num. I'm hitting Control U to do that. Num actual frames. And I'm going to assume that it will be frame index. And then I'm going to simply say, hey, you know what? If they actually added entries this time, then let's, we need to also undo the, do the num actual frames plus plus. Sorry if that's messy. That might be confusing. Let me, let me go through that again. Uh, actually, I'm going to highlight this. Control K, F. Okay, unsigned in. Num actual frames. I'm going to assume that they added nothing on the last frame. However, I'm going to check, hey, did they? And if they did, they have to add all the entries. Okay? So if they did add something on the last frame, then we need to actually include the last frame as well. That's that's what the, all that logic is doing there. And I think since I had to explain that so heavily verbally, I'm going to drop a comment, even though I'm terrible at commenting. I'm going to say, account for last frame if they added entries. I think that comment will save me some headache a few months from now. All right, and then we need to go up to num actual frames, like so, and let's run. Control F5. Hopefully this builds and runs and succeeds. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling so good. That's good. That's good. But I also, oh, profiles changed. Look at this. Profile, there we go. We got them all. Are you feeling good? I'm feeling good. Now, I just kind of sinned. I just broke a rule. Let me tell you what rule I broke. And it depends on how religious, orthodox, it depends on how orthodox you are about the rule. But I added 
uh, excuse the yawn, I added some functionality here without really writing a test for it. You can say, well, Jamie, we, we have a test for it. Isn't that why the test passed? Well, now we need to write a test that says, hey, let's call, let's, let's try doing this without calling, let's call new frame, but that let's not add any entries. All right, and then in that case, we should get, let me bring profiles back up. If I call a new frame, but then I don't add any entries, we should just go up to this frame. Okay, the one prior to the one we were about to add. We need to add a test case for that. And then also, what if I'm stupid, if I'm the client, maybe I'm not stupid, maybe I just don't understand the contract of the profiler class, but say I add two frames, or maybe even just one frame, and then I say shut down, what do we expect? Well, the code we wrote said, well, we're not going to write out that detail, we'll just go up to the last full frame that you did. And I think that's a good definition for our profiler, and I'm going to roll with that. But we need to write unit tests to verify that and to ensure that that's the way it is. Now, we could be lazy and say, ah, forget it. But I don't want to be lazy. I want to add some unit tests for that. So we'll do that in the next video.